It is Oracle 684 back here, everybody, and what a nice Saturday to be filming a video. It's kind of cool out, a little bit windy out here where I'm from, rain everywhere, and I want to talk to you about a film today that I just picked up on Shout Factory, or I bought it on, off of Amazon. It's from Shout Factory, and I have seen it before. This is a 1998 slasher film, Urban Legend, uh, by far one of my favorite uh, films of the 90s teen slasher uh, genre that Scream brought back from the dead, which, you know, back in the uh, glory days of the slasher films, you know, back in the 80s, they pretty much died out. But uh, this film here is based on, I mean, there's a killer that uh, kills uh, the victims in urban legend style, or urban legend ways. And it all takes place on a uh, campus. Uh, you do have quite a few up and rising stars that are pretty much big stars today. You have like... Uh, Jared Leto, who is pretty much a big star. Tara Reid is another one that's gone on to make other films. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I'm trying to remember how Michael's last name is pronounced. I don't even know, but he was Lex Luthor off of Smallville. You have Rebe Rebecca Gayhart, who was also in Scream 2 the previous year before this film was made. And then you have uh, horror icons such as you know Brad Dorf and. Uh, his one of his uh, more iconic scenes in the film, which is really, really great. I uh, won't spoil anything about that if you haven't seen it. You got Robert England, and you got Daniel Harris, Daniel Harris, which who I've met at Flashback Weekend a couple years ago. Uh, this year, um, I got a chance to meet Alicia Witt, who plays Natalie in the film. Uh, really super stoked to meet her because she's also an actress, not just an actress, but an actress, singer, songwriter. She is a pianist, which is really, really cool, and I've watched some of her stuff on YouTube videos of her uh, singing and playing the piano, which is something I really, you know, like to see. Uh, I'm also a singer myself, but I'm not as, you know, good as what she is. So, yeah, the... Uh, the whole synopsis is, is that there's a killer on, you know, there's a killer on campus, and uh, we got to mention too, we got Loretta Devine in, in the film as Reese, the only person. I'm not going to spoil who else is in the second one, but she returns for uh, Urban Legends Final Cut, which that movie I did own at one time on DVD, and ugh, that, that to me it was just terrible. I mean, you can't beat the beat the first film in my opinion, but uh, there's a killer on campus. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm not going to tell you who the killer is. If you haven't seen it, uh, that's the reason why I'm not going to spoil anything. I've seen it many times. I'm sure whoever's going to be watching this video uh, don't know who, who the killer is and the whole motive behind the killings. It's just one of those very, very fun films I mean, to watch. I mean, it's, it's, it's 90s. It's the 90s. It's what I grew up in. Hey, I was, in, you know, an 80s kid growing up. I was, you know, uh, a, a little young when I was watching, you know, Friday the 13th. But, you know, right around the surgeons of, like, of the slashers when they came back in, from that, in 96 when Scream started out, that whole craze, uh, I was pretty much in my junior high days. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a... Uh, a real treat to watch. I mean, the special features, like the Scream Factory stuff, is really, really cool. Because you got loads of special features. I mean, you got new feature length commentary or documentary on the making of Urban Legend, featuring new interviews of Jamie Blanks, that's the director of this film, actors Rebecca Gayhart, Loretta Devine, Tara Reed, Michael Rosenbaum, Robert England, and Daniel Harris, Sylvia. Porta, executive producer, executive producer Brad Luff, producers Neil H. Mortez and Gina Matthews, and many more. New, never before seen behind the scenes footage, which is really, really cool. And you got 
art travel making of featurette. Uh, you know what? I mean, what can you say? You know, I mean, what can you say about Screen Factory? I'm I'm wanting to get more of the Screen Factory uh, releases. I do want to get Psycho Four the beginning. I own it in the three pack when they came out with the uh, triple pack on uh, DVD with Psycho Two and Three. That's got audio commentary with uh, Olivia Hussey, I believe, uh, Henry Thomas, and then I think the director Mick Garris of the film. And then I would like to get the uh, I would like to get, uh, I, I don't think Screen Factory or Shock Factory, whatever it is, but they're both about the same thing. Uh, came out with Prom Night, it was Synapse, that company that came out with uh, the 1980 version of Prom Night on Blu ray, with special edition stuff on it. I thought about getting that, but for like uh, Screen Factory, I want to get uh, the Psycho films. I already own them, but I'd like to get them. But uh, yeah, you can't. I mean, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, I mean, you really can't go wrong with these films here. Uh, I mean, there's a lunatic on campus, the Stanley Hall massacre, stuff like that. But definitely, I mean, if you're into uh, teen slashers, slashers from the '90s, uh, definitely give this one a definitely give this one a check out because it's 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 well worth it. Um, I don't think you want to know how much I paid for this. I'm going to be really, really honest. These things are kind of, you know, I, I wouldn't, I don't want to say pricey, but when I bought it off of Amazon, this was uh, $29.99, and that's not including my tax. So basically it came out to be like 32 something, but uh, definitely well worth the buy. And going to have it signed this August, that flashback. So uh, that's it. There you go. What else can you say? If you love slashers, try this film. You don't know what you're missing. It's a hit or miss. To me, it's uh, one of those rare gems. Take care, guys. Oracle 684. Signing off.